One of the big trends we see when we search for pixel sorting is this image of a statue by the glitch artist Giacomo Carmagnola, and we'll look at his work for this tutorial. The effect makes sense because it uses lighting direction from the source image. You see here that it creates an illusion of depth in the face of the statue. Let's jump into After Effects where I've already imported a photo that has a strong lighting direction. Let's apply AE Pixel Sorter to the image and adjust the threshold and angle. We also want to work in the darker areas of the image, so let's change the effect setting to shadows. Now, since we want the effect to be visible only on a portion of the image, let's move our AE Pixel Sorter effect to an adjustment layer on top of the image layer. We can then mask our adjustment layer. We will draw the contours of the region that sits in the shadows of the lighting direction. This is part of the illusion that we're trying to create. The next step is to add detail. One source image is pretty much even in this region, so it doesn't trigger the pixel sorting often enough. In the previous version of the plugin, I showed you how Pixel Sorter will react if you add a fractal noise before it. A better way to do this is by using an advanced function of the plugin, which is to sort the pixels of our image by analyzing another image. Let's duplicate our source image and add a fractal noise effect to it. This layer will be used as a directive for Pixel Sorter. Let's move both of our images so we can see what we are doing. Back in our adjustment layer, let's select the duplicated noise layer as the source. Make sure to change this to effects and masks so the fractal noise is included. Now we need to adjust the threshold again to get a better result. From this point, we can go to our noise layer and adjust the fractal noise settings, mainly the scale. You can see how changing the fractal noise now affects the pixel sorting. I also like to drop the opacity a bit to bring back data from the original image. When we have a scale that looks nice, we can go back to Pixel Sorter and adjust the threshold. One thing we want to change in this specific case is the sort direction. You can see that the pixel sorted lines are going from dark at the bottom to bright at the top. To make it more consistent with the source image, we want to reverse this by clicking the Invert Sorting checkbox. Let's now do a small tweak to our mask by increasing its feather so the effect comes in more naturally. I personally like to get bolder sorting lines in the final result. We have two ways of doing this and they both produce different results. The first is to decrease the resolution percentage to make the image kind of an 8-bit or vintage video game look. The second method is to increase the block size setting, which will keep the full resolution of the source image but will produce thicker lines. Finally, why don't we animate this nice picture by using the cycle setting? I like to animate this one with an expression. Let's type time times 80, which will change its value depending on the playhead position. While it's playing, we can continue to change the parameters and experiment with different results. Thanks for watching! For more quick tutorials on how to use AE Pixel Sorter, visit pixelsorter.info.